What's up, what's up everybody? I'm your adorable woman, Aries Adora, and this is Adorable Woman TV, where we inspire great affection towards women all over the world. For starters, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and tap that bell for notifications because I don't want you to miss a beat. Let's go! Now, won't stop me now. I'm Aries Adora and welcome back to my channel today I want to talk about why I removed gluten and dairy from my diet and what I eat instead first of all everybody who's been watching me and who's been tuning in thank you so much I definitely appreciate your support um, as a result you guys have been basically submitting questions and putting topics out there that you want me to discuss and this is one of them. Um, so basically, I guess I can start from the beginning. Um, <laughs> it's two reasons why I stopped eating dairy and gluten. Well, three. Um, so my ex actually started me on the path of um, being more consciously aware of what I eat and he introduced me to the idea of detoxing. I, like many people, was completely oblivious to the idea that, hey, you need to pay attention to what it is that you're putting in your body. And I was just eating pretty much whatever it was that I wanted to eat, not realizing that it was contributing to my acne. So acne was the first thing, but I didn't know what to do about it, so yeah that was one reason so my ex introduced me to the idea of detoxing and then just having acne all my life has just been a huge huge struggle and um, I'm on the path to conquering it I did conquer it before and then I fell off the bandwagon I'll tell you about that and it's just ugh, it's so, it's so frustrating um, but again I am gonna conquer it the the other reason that I removed gluten and dairy from my diet was acid reflux now <laughs> I had like a really bad bout of acid reflux but what I didn't know was that some other symptoms that I was having was actually a result of the acid reflux so let me back up and let me explain down through the years I had been diagnosed with coughing asthma and so what would happen was I would get into cold areas or I would even just kind of, I would change atmospheres and then I would just like start going through these coughing fits that I could not control and it was driving me crazy. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Why is it happening? And I'm a singer and can you imagine trying to go on stage and you're backstage having a damn coughing fit so I was like you know what I got to figure out what this is and how to get rid of it I saw an ENT I saw um, an allergist um, and the allergist said that it wasn't allergies and the ENT said that I didn't have any sinus infection so there wasn't any post nasal drift that they could see the allergist is the one that diagnosed me with GERD yeah he said it was not allergies and then he goes hey don't worry about it hey you can take this pill every day for the rest of your life and I was like wait a minute for acid reflux you got to be kidding me are you serious I was like oh no I'm not doing that so that spawned me <laughs> on my journey to cure acid reflux now what I noticed was I went on this binge and I thought that I was doing something healthy. I thought I was doing something good for my body and I went crazy on Greek yogurts thinking that I was getting my probiotics. That's, that's what did it. I, I went too hard on the dairy, on the yogurt and the coughing just would not stop. I just could not get rid of it. So I went online and I started uh, searching for natural cures or, or, or home remedies to um, alleviate acid reflux. And it wasn't impossible. Um, it was difficult, but at the same token, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So what I did was I removed dairy, 
and I uh, removed gluten. I lowered my, uh, my meat intake and I increased my leafy greens and my fruits. I bought a high quality probiotic, but when I had flare ups, or when I had issues and I absolutely needed something to calm it down right then and there, uh, one product that actually helped me was uh, Gaviscon, but it, it was Gaviscon Advanced. So what it does is it creates like a barrier between um, your stomach and like your esophagus and it stops the acid from coming up. So it helped me a lot. <laughs> Whenever I would take that, I noticed that I just, the coughing would subside and then I can just get through the rest of my day or night or whatever the case may be. But it was it was a really difficult time. And so Gaviscon uh, was a, a healthier option as well, especially with the way they made it because I think they use um, algae for the formula or something like that. Look it up, check it out. It's Gaviscon <laughs> Advanced. Um, and it helped me. So, taking that along with taking marshmallow root tea, I love drinking the marshmallow root tea because um, when I added a little bit of um, agave at the time or organic maple syrup, it, it just had a really pleasant flavor to it. But what it is is marshmallow root is mucilage. And so essentially, if you're dealing with any type of um, acid issue or um, er, er, you know any type of erosion or something like that or even just irritated nerves within the lining of your esophagus and your di digestive tract um, that marshmallow root the mucilage property of it actually was very soothing and it would coat the lining and it would actually help rebuild the lining so I definitely recommend marshmallow root tea. Now, marshmallow root tea is not a hot tea. No. It is a, a cool tea and so the way you prepare it is you get the marshmallow root and you, um, you submerge it in cool water and you actually leave it overnight. So what I would do is I would take like a couple tablespoons of the marshmallow root tea and maybe a couple of cups of water or like maybe one tablespoon per cup. That's that, that's what I would do. I would sit it on the counter overnight and you will let it sit. And what will happen is the water will get infused by the marshmallow root and it would um, taste fluffy. <laughs> it would taste good. So the, the marshmallow root would infuse the water and then the next day I would just strain it off. So that's all you have to do. You don't have to boil it or anything like that. You just strain it off and I would add a little bit of um, organic maple syrup to it just to sweeten it a little bit and I would just sip on that throughout the day and it was very soothing. So that was another thing that I did. So I did that for about, I would say maybe two and a half to three months and then I noticed that boop, it completely subsided. Now let's back up. Now you know about the acid <laughs> reflux part. Let's talk about this acne. This stupid, stubborn acne. I follow someone by the name of Anthony William. He calls himself the medical medium, and I love this man. Like, you just don't know. It's like, it's a dream to meet him and have him do a reading on me. What he does is so cool. He has the ability to basically look at you and read your body, and he speaks with spirit, which tells him what's wrong with you. And, um, through spirit, he's been able to basically reveal to the world what acne is. And what I've learned from him is that acne is not hormonal. It's not caused by hormones. And um, once I dove into his information, I realized, yeah, I totally agree with that, that acne is not caused by hormones, but hormones can trigger it. And let me explain what he says. Um, acne is actually, yes, it is a bacterial infection, but it's specifically streptococcus. 
and streptococcus is the same uh, bacteria. It's the infection that you get when you get strep throat. I used to get strep throat a lot as a child and I can tell you I was constantly on antibiotics. If you're constantly on these antibiotics, what happens over time is it turns the, the bacteria into a superbug. So it'll knock it down, but whatever isn't dead, over time actually feeds on the antibiotics and it gets stronger. I know, you gotta just go read his books. <laughs> Listen to him on SoundCloud, it's a lot of information. And he explains that the streptococcus basically sits in the lymphatic system and festers out and comes through the skin. So if you are not detoxifying properly, it's not leaving your body. The strep is just sitting there and it's festering and it's coming out through the pores. And so that is my struggle and that is why I am trying to get rid of streptococcus. <laughs> get it out of my body. When I veer off and when I go off course and I cheat, I pay for it. I do. I get these crazy breakouts um, and even sometimes I'll get a flare up of anxiety and that's another show because anxiety is not always mental. It can be something going on biologically in the body that's actually causing you to have anxiety, um, especially when it's not triggered by any external source. But we'll talk about that. We'll talk about anxiety another day. Today we're talking about removing gluten and dairy. We're gonna stay on that because I can go on and on and on, but I'm not gonna do that to you today. Acne, um, it's just been a thorn in my side and I have dedicated myself to getting back on my path and following the medical medium way where he strongly recommends drinking celery juice, cat's claw, lemon balm, golden seal, all of these wonderful herbs um, that will only work if you remove dairy, gluten, and meat. You gotta just get rid of it so that the liver can actually process and work and disperse it through the body properly. So now, the moment you all have been waiting for, what do I eat? <laughs> what products do I actually like to eat? I'll show you. What has gluten in it? Almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to avoid, but I somehow learned how to navigate this terrain of a glutinous world and I just kind of educated myself and I read labels and I pay attention to what's in there and um, I've gotten used to it. So anything with wheat is going to have gluten in it. So soy sauce, um, teriyaki sauces has gluten in it, pastas breads, um, salad dressings have gluten in it. Products that really don't even need to have wheat in it has gluten in it. You like, I look at labels sometimes and I'm like, why? It, it's so unnecessary and it's keeping so many people sick. One of my favorite, one of my favorite, 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 I can't get it out, ah! One of my favorite, favorite foods Oh man, I love me some pasta. <laughs> I am the spaghetti queen, do you hear me? I make hella pasta, okay? This brand is a brand that I absolutely adore. <laughs> and the name of the brand is Jovial and they make organic, 100% organic brown rice pasta. And there's a lot of gluten-free pastas out there, but texture is everything. I don't care what you say. And honestly, this company has done an amazing job at making their uh, pasta just taste like pasta. Like, it doesn't taste like, um, it's not grainy. Um, it's not off. You wouldn't even know the difference. And I've served it to so many people, and they had no clue that they were eating gluten-free pasta so I definitely recommend Jovial and the medical medium also recommends Jovial so check them out I personally buy them at Whole Foods but I do think that you can um, buy them online as well on Amazon okay Jovial oatmeal not everybody likes oatmeal but you have to be careful because not all oatmeal is gluten free but I really like this brand Nature's Path Organic 
I always get the home style without any flavorings in it because I don't know what natural flavors are um, and medical medium doesn't like it either so I just kind of steer clear and I flavor it myself so I put wild blueberries in it I put cinnamon and I'll either do organic maple syrup or I will do some honey so that's it that's what I like and it's gluten free so that's a good breakfast item Let's talk about butter. <laughs> Let's talk about butter and cheese, baby. Butter and cheese. This brand, Mayoko's, I love this butter. The reason why I love this butter so much is because there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients, but you can read them all. <laughs> And it tastes just like butter. So there aren't any natural flavors in there and any strange chemicals. It's literally organic coconut oil, filtered water, organic sunflower oil, organic cashews, organic sunflower lecithin, sea salt, and cultures. So I definitely recommend this brand. If you want to get away from dairy-based butter, I strongly recommend Mayoko's. Now, I'm not a big fan of ricotta cheese, but I just tried a new pasta dish that I think is just fine, okay? <laughs> it is really good, and I stole the recipe from HelloFresh. It is a recipe that requires um, Italian chicken, but what I do is, again, I'm a swapper. So they have a ricotta and spinach ricotta cheese and spinach ravioli dish with ground um, Italian chicken. What I did was I got a gluten-free pasta, I made up my own ground chicken, Italian chicken, and then they use sour cream, but instead of using sour cream, I swap it out for coconut cream, which is unsweetened and it's unflavored and everything. So it gives you that same creamy consistency. And I dab some of this in there. So, so this is Kai Heel Almond Milk Ricotta Cheese, and it's dairy free. And I'll be honest, it tastes just like ricotta cheese. It's kind of creepy. They're getting really good at these dairy free products. So I think that now is the best time to convert. If you're gonna do it, do it now because everything tastes amazing. Now, Traditional cheeses and flavors that we are used to. Um, these are two brands that I really, really like. The only thing I don't like about them is they use, well, this one uses canola oil and Anthony Williams, the medical medium, is strongly <laughs> against canola oil. Um, and we'll talk about that another time as well. And they both have natural flavors in it. Yeah, they both have natural flavors. But I do understand that sometimes you just want that taste. So, uh, Voix Life has a smoked provolone that is vegan and it is so good. Like I've made vegan mac and cheese with this cheese. And then for you Parmesan cheese lovers, uh, Follow Your Heart makes an amazing Parmesan too. So. So that's it. I am not going to keep you any longer. Hopefully you've learned something today and hopefully it's something that you can actually take and apply and give it a try. Um, you'll be surprised at how great tasting these foods are. I highly recommend them. I would love to get your feedback about it. Thanks again for watching. I'm your adorable woman, Aries Adora, and this is Adorable Woman TV. Bye-bye.